What's going on everybody? Swanna here. Welcome back to Train Sim World. Uh, I wanted to make this video today um, addressing some of the issues that I've been seeing a lot. Um, some common issues regarding frame rate. Um, obviously I'm, I'm aware that Dovetail Games have acknowledged that there's a frame rate, frame rate issue and uh, there are, they're working on you know, releasing a, a, a patch to fix this. Um, but I, want, I wanted to show you guys because a lot of the videos I've been watching um, you know, people are complaining about they can't even get um, you know, a playable amount of frames um, at higher settings, and I, I wanted to show you guys that you that you can because uh, I'm running everything maxed out right now. This is the highest settings you can possibly have inside the sim, and as you guys can see, I'm running around you know 50 is about 50 frames average on the main line. Now, obviously, this is on the main line. There's not as many assets. There's not as many locomotives, and there's uh, not a lot of moving pieces that need to be rendered. Um, but the majority of your time that you'd be in the sim, unless you're really in the yard work, would be on the main line regardless. So, for those of you guys that are still kind of on the fence on whether or not you guys want to buy it, um, you know, my recommendations would be look at the Steam store or whatever, whatever way you're buying the game and, and there's going to be the minimum and um, recommended system requirements. Make sure that you guys read this. It's extremely important that you guys read this and I would say probably make sure that your system can handle what's the, you know, what's the recommended requirements. Not just the minimum but the recommended because this game is very uh, graphic intensive. There's a lot of rendering. There's a lot of uh, special lighting and effects that need to be rendered and in some situations with some scenarios in the yard like I said you'll even get um, a lot of a lot of assets that need to be rendered and that will cause your frames to to suffer so my recommendation is make sure that your system can handle it um, you know a lot I think a lot of people just kind of jumped into it thinking that, uh, that 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 they were gonna be able to handle it regardless maybe even at the lowest settings but in reality, I don't think really anyone wants to run a game at, at the lowest settings possible. I know for a fact that in, in, in my previous experience, even with Train Sim 2017, I had a, I had a laptop that I originally tried to play the Sim on, and I was averaging nine frames per second at the worst settings possible, and, and that was just miserable. So I don't think anyone needs, should need to go through that. Um, maybe if if uh, if your system can't handle it, uh, maybe just wait and see if they release a patch that maybe will help. Uh, performance. If not, maybe you know consider upgrading your system. Um, obviously, I think I think the most helpful thing that you could get would be a graphics card, or uh, you know obviously that's the most expensive. But maybe even start with just RAM. I mean, RAM helps out tremendously. It's not really that expensive um, compared to other things you can upgrade in your computer. But but I, the whole point of this video is I, I wanted to show you. Um, you know what what what's possible with the settings and I hear we can even pause this for a second I can show you guys my settings um, Just so you guys Can see that I'm actually running stuff maxed out. So we got you know ultra preset TAA Which is the higher anti-aliasing and if you go to our more advanced settings here You know the foliage quality is ultra the shadow quality can't go any higher than high So that's where that's at effects same thing um, post process is ultra view distance is ultra texture qualities. Oh, I guess that one wasn't on ultra. Okay. Well, let's see if that does anything different. So you can see Let's see back out here Zoom. All right, so no, so we're still around, you know, 45 to 50. So that's not a huge deal um, You know, that's that's doable. Obviously there are some points here and there where maybe a, a new area of the map will be loading and that will cause maybe a dip in frame for a second, but as much as everyone's been saying that they've been noticing it, I haven't noticed it myself personally. So I just wanted to show you guys that it is possible to run this game at max settings and, and still achieve great uh, great performance. If you guys want to see what I'm running as far as my computer goes, be sure to check out the About section of my channel. There's a whole list of all my specs on my PC, um, as well as a breakdown of, of everything that I have on my PC if you guys want to try to replicate the PC or build it yourselves. Um, and, and that's, and that's kind of what I wanted to share here today. What I want to do now is, obviously I'm showing you guys the main line here, I want to switch over to Cumberland Yard here in a sec, and I'll show you guys how it looks there as well. So let me just uh, let me just change over here, and I'll, and I'll check with you guys in one sec. Alright guys, so this is Cumberland Yard, this is the clear cut scenario, this is probably one of the more uh, graphic intensive scenarios you'll probably witness in this game. 
and it's because there's so many different locomotives and uh, and trains throughout the yard and and as you can see we're still kind of hovering around the 30 to 35 range now obviously that's not ideal um, you know I currently I mean I personally like to uh, run my sim around the 40 to 50 range I think it's a lot more smooth than 30 but 30 is still very doable it's it's, it's still um, it's still you know it's still okay you can still get what you're looking to get out of it I think and um, you know there's certain spots if you look around the yard like I can do a 360 here you can see as I move around the frames can fluctuate a little bit depending on what we're looking at um, obviously it improves as you look away from more stuff and then as you look towards the yard more stuff in it it can get down to the 30 range sometimes it even fluctuates maybe in the 25 if it's if it's loading in some new stuff from a distance but but my point is is like even in the yard itself i mean 30 30 frames is manageable that's not like the end of the world i mean anything below like 25 is when you really start to notice a performance decrease and i think that anything above that is is it's okay it's not it's not amazing it's not 60 frames per second but you can see that uh, there's no suffering in frame rates here. I, mean, I, can, I can move and we're not experiencing any lagginess. So, um, so yeah, that's that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, if you guys haven't already checked out uh, the channel, I did a full review um, on kind of what's new on the beta, what, what you guys can expect if you guys are looking to purchase this game, um, as well as kind of a first look at some of the scenarios and, and options you can, you can play in the game. Uh, be sure to check that out on my channel. Uh, there's also a little short video that I made that uh, kind of it shows um, kind of similar, but more of like a, a promo slash kind of, uh, I don't know. It's it's complete, completely different style. Something I kind of just decided to make out off the whim. And um, I think it's really good. It's only two minutes long. You guys can check that out if you guys want. They're both on the channel. Um, but again, be sure to check the channel out. You guys can see what my PC looks like. You can you guys can see... Um, you know what uh, what I'm running, but again, I, I really recommend looking at the the system um, requirements and and really trying to go for the you know the recommended settings, not just the minimum settings, but the recommended settings. Because I think, um, especially with where the game's at right now, without that patch that they're gonna release for uh, for stability, I would say you'd be safer going with the with the recommended settings. But anyway, that's going to do it. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing some more Trains in World, again, check out the channel. If not, um, I'm also going to be doing a stream here this weekend. I'm not sure what time. Um, so you guys can check that out as well. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, that's also in the channel uh, banner of my channel. And you guys can follow me over there. I'll be doing it sometime this weekend. I'm also on Twitter. I think that is also my banner. You guys can follow me there. That's when I'll be releasing um, the information as far as the stream, what time I'll be going. And... Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for me here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. I do lots of stuff, including Train Sim World, Train Sim 2017, X-Plane, uh, you know, American Truck Sim, all those types of sims slash uh, you know, strategy games like Transport Fever, Planet Coaster. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, be sure to leave a, uh, you know, actually not be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe. Uh, it's always appreciated. You guys can be aware whenever new stuff's being popped up. And... Um, that's going to do it for me. So I will see you guys later with some more Train Sim. Take care.